Welcome to the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent. If you are a subscriber, I thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber and you're into whiskey, please consider hitting that subscribe button with the notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Glendronic 12-Year Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Before I get into this whiskey, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the distillery and a little bit about the whiskey itself. The Glendronic Distillery, which lies at the Dronic Burn in the Devron area, was founded in 1826. Over the years, the distillery has changed hands many times and was just recently purchased by Brown Foreman in 2016. The Glendronic 12 Year is a Highland Single Malt Scotch whiskey that is aged in a combination of Oloroso Sherry and Pedro Menez cast from Spain. This bottling is unfiltered and has natural color. The ABV on this whiskey is 43%, 86 proof, with an MSRP of around $60. Let's check out the bottle for a second. I like the bottling. Nothing too fancy about the bottle itself, but I think it's very elegant and sophisticated the way they've done the labeling here. The red and golds and whites, I think it really pops. I think it gives it a very elegant look. Same thing with the cylinder. It's very elegant very sophisticated looking. I really like what the marketers have done with their bottling. With that being said, let's get into the color nose and taste of this whiskey. The color on this one is a nice amber golden color. It is a natural color on the whiskey. And as you can see, it is unfiltered and super viscous and oily. It is clinging to the glass very well. Got nice thick legs on the whiskey. Very nice color. Nice viscosity. Let's get in the nose. Right away, I'm getting a nice vanilla note. A creamy vanilla. Cinnamon, ginger. A nice sherry note. It also has a, a nuttiness to it also. Some like a, some caramelized sugars raisins, figs. I would say the, the deadiness characteristic is coming across to me like a, like a hazelnut. There might also be a, a little bit of chocolate lingering around in the nose of this whiskey also. Definitely a nice dark fruit characteristic like your raisins and figs. A nice cinnamon ginger note. And a very, very nice creamy vanilla note also. The sherry is definitely present. And the cinnamon and the ginger and that hazelnut nutty characteristic is also showing through nicely on the nose of this whiskey. I think I'm getting a little bit of, maybe a little bit of citrus and some chocolate in there also. A very nice somewhat complex nose to the whiskey. It's kind of ever-changing. I've had this whiskey sitting in the glass for about 15 minutes and it's definitely a nice beautiful nose to the whiskey. I've really, I've really enjoyed the nose on this one. Once again you're getting nice dark fruits like your raisins, figs, maybe even dates, some cinnamon, some ginger, a little bit like a creamy vanilla note and it also has a nutty characteristic to it like a hazelnut and um, I'm getting a nice sherry oak note also. And, and maybe even a little bit of chocolate on the nose. Beautiful nose on the whiskey. I really enjoyed it. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. Mm. Very mouth coating viscous whiskey. Velvety texture. Finishes leaning towards the long side of things, still going, finishing off in a nice, like, toffee note. On the first sip, entrance was like a creamy vanilla. Mid palate, a little citrus. I had a nutty characteristic also going into the finish. And you had a little bit of like a, your dark fruits, your raisins, and some nice cinnamon notes on the first sip. Very nice first sip. Very nice mouthfeel, velvety mouthfeel. Let's go for a second, guys. Cheers. Mm. Mm. 
All right, guys. Front of the palate, like a creamy vanilla. Mid palate, it goes into like a nuttiness and citrus zest. A little bit of sherry showing up. Maybe your dark fruits like your raisins and figs. But it's finishing off in this nice like toffee note and peanut brittle with a nice oak note. I will say this, it is drying out a little bit on the finish, but that's okay. It's still got a very nice mouthfeel, very creamy. Really enjoyed the second sip. Let's go in for a third, guys. Cheers. Mm. Mm. I'm loving the mouthfeel on this whiskey. It is very velvety and creamy. It does dry out a little bit on the finish. But I mean, you guys can see how oily and viscous this whiskey is. Very nice mouthfeel. Third sip, I'm getting a little chocolate. A little bit of chocolate mid palate, but on the entry it was still vanilla, creamy vanilla, little chocolate mid palate, some dark fruits like your dates, figs, raisins. The sherry presence is there. And it's finishing off in this nice toffee, like peanut brittle note. With a little vanilla strung through the whole mix. The vanilla is definitely present throughout front of the palate to the finish. And it's finishing off with a nice peanut brittle toffee oak note that is very nice. Really enjoyed this pour. Let's get into my final thoughts. My final thoughts on the Glendronic 12 year Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Guys, I really enjoyed this pour. It offers a nice complexity, a great value at $60, and it offers dense, rich, deep flavors. I think if you're into richly shared whiskeys, you'll really enjoy this pour. It's going to wrap this one up, guys. I thank you so much for watching. Once again, if you are a subscriber, I greatly appreciate your support. And if you're not a subscriber, hey, subscribe. Until next time, guys, cheers. Cheers.